Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome back to the sixth webinar in uh, Dairy Technologies Billing Fluency webinar series. Um, I'm your host, Nuri Miller. Um, this week, uh, like every week, I want you to get started by opening up Digital Project. So find uh, Digital Project V1R4 on your desktop. Double click and, and have that opening up while I give my introduction. So this week, which is the sixth in our series, um, we're looking at managing collaboration, interoperability, and very specifically IFC within Digital Project V1R4. Um, like every week I explain that this uh, webinar series is geared sort of like a classroom environment, so um, I'm going to be doing live demonstrations of everything I'm talking about. Um, this is not going to just be a rote uh, presentation of, of the topics that, uh, that we're going to be dealing with. We're actually going to be getting our hands dirty a bit. So the goals for this week uh, basically entail, uh, first we're going to open and incorporate drawing files um, from standard 2D formats. Um, this could be DWG, uh, among others. Um, we're going to be incorporating 3D geometry information from other modeling platforms. Um, there's various different formats. Uh, we're going to be looking at, at one in particular, IGIS, and seeing how this comes into digital project. Um, we're going to be looking at creating an information-rich IFC file uh, from the BIM model. So the, the de facto um, format for BIM models these days is IFC. We're going to be looking at that and why IFC um, is important because it includes not only the geometry of, of your project but also a lot of the information that you've invested in your digital project model. Uh, and finally, we're going to be looking at um, if you've already modeled, uh, you've already started creating your model, um, but not using some of the the already pre-formatted IFC objects that are present in the architecture and structures workbench. Uh, we're going to look at designating um, model elements. It's very easy um, for export to IFC. Um, during the session, if you have any questions. Uh, Please let us know. Um, we'll try and do what we can to answer them during the session. Um, of course, you can always, following the, the webinar, you can always submit questions to knowledge at gt-global.com. All right. So let's get started. Um, first thing, uh, I have a few sample files I've created for myself. Um, you can follow along. Um, I would suggest that at this point um, you may just want to watch, but if you want to, you can open up the 2D uh, software that you typically use in your office. Um, this, uh, in this case, it could be AutoCAD. So right now I have AutoCAD open. Um, could be any other 2D uh, drafting software that you may use. So I've got a sample file here, and I want to open up <coughs> the um, the uh, site drawing for this project manager model that we've been using for the past few sessions. So I'm just going to double click this the site, and okay, so I have this drawing with different layers, put in different layers in AutoCAD. So the best thing, the best practice for bringing um, drawing information into digital project is to, um, to select all the elements that you have currently in drawing that you want to export, and then do a W block. And this basically just kind of packages it. Um, it, uh, it makes it a little uh, cleaner for a digital project to um, import. So I just type down here W block. And then um, when I'm exporting it, 
uh, I'm going to call that, you know, whatever. In this case, uh, I'll save it to my desktop. I guess I'll call it same as the file I have open here. And they are site drawing. Um, I want to make sure that the format um, that I'm saving it as is an AutoCAD 2000 DXF. Um, this is the most, uh, we, we found here that that's the most reliable uh, format when you're bringing into digital project. You can bring in other, um, other AutoCAD file types, but this we found is the most reliable, AutoCAD 2000 DXF. Um, and then the insert units, um, I'm going to set to inches because in the digital project model, inches is the, the format that I'm, that I'm using, the uh, units that I'm using. So I'm going to set that to inches. Everything else here is fine. Um, we have our object selected, 224. So I'll click OK. It's going to grab everything and save it out to this DXF file. Um, and then um, with digital project open, it's very straightforward. Um, we basically just go up to File Open. and uh, go to those file, that file we just created, um, I just saved here, MAR site drawing, and just click open. And what it's going to do is immediately going to identify that this is a 2D um, drawing file that we're uh, trying to bring into digital projects. So it's going to bring in all the elements. It's automatically going to place it into a drawing file. So you may re you may see that this this uh, this layout looks a little different than what you're used to. Um, that's because this is a drawing file in Digital Project. Um, so we have all the elements now uh, as as Digital Project elements, the the arcs, the lines, um, as a drawing file. Now the goal is to take these elements and incorporate them into our model and then maybe use some of these, some of the line geometry f to build up um, uh, further um, information in our, in our building model. So what we want to do is uh, start a new, I'm going to create a new part file. Um, you could do this with an existing part file also. So if you already had a part file you wanted to bring it into, you could just open that part file. I'm going to go to part, and um, and I'll call this MAR site drawing, just like the files before. Uh, these these options are fine. Enable hybrid design and create a geometric set. Click OK. Um, right off the bat, uh, I have the geometric set. Uh, you can see underlined, so. Uh, anything I create is going to go inside that geometric set. That's good. Um, I have my XY plane, which is my horizontal plane. So I'm going to pre-select that. And I want to create a sketch uh, in the file to, um, to basically bring the, the drawing information from, uh, from the drawing, from the cat, from the, from the uh, digital project drawing file into our modeling environment. So I just hit the position sketch tool and create a sketch. And now um, if I want to I can tile vertically to see them side by side. Okay, so here's my here's my drawing file. And you can see I can just kind of move around and zoom out just like I would in a in a model um, environment. So, so I'm going to click and select all of that drawing information. Go up to Edit and Copy. And now back to my model file with that, that sketch already active and open. I'm just going to hit Paste. And now if I uh, expand that window and zoom out, I have all the drawing information that I had from my 